Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Cruiser. This is Matt. Now, I own a lot of radios. This isn't meant to be a flex, as some of my viewers have accused me of being. This is me telling you I have an addiction. I have a problem. Now, one thing that addicts never admit is that they'd be willing to get rid of everything to just keep one item. And I've asked myself that question, is there one radio out of all of these, and this is just a sampling, that I would say, yeah, if I had to get rid of everything, I would keep just that one. And I think there is. I don't think it's any surprise that it's the BKR 9000. The BKR 9000 after six months still has me captive. I think it's an amazing radio. Yes, it has some shortcomings, but as you saw from my other all band comparison video, they all have shortcomings. It's just balancing which shortcomings you like more than the others. And the reality is, yeah, I would absolutely buy this radio again. Yes, this is the radio I carry almost every day. Yes, I think this is a fantastic radio. And um, there's just so much I really like about it. Yeah, it has some shortcomings. But after owning this thing for six months, carrying it in my car or on my person almost every day, um, I have really grown to like it and appreciate it. I think that the key takeaways of why I really like this are number one, I really like who I've dealt with at BK Technologies. They've been super friendly, helpful. I've never walked away from there going, well, they couldn't solve my problem. And I'm a little guy. I'm not an agency or a department. I run a, run a business completely unrelated to radios. But they still were willing to deal with me. I love that I can set zones as large as I want or as small as I want. And I have a control knob that continuously rotates. So if I have a 78 channel zone, boom, no problem. I can have scan lists on conventional as large as I want. And then I can have a scan list for each zone and then a scan list of the zones as well. So on conventional, I can do all sorts of stuff. I can non-affiliate scan on this with the click of a mouse. There's no monkeying around with the software. There's no risk of having uh, an accidental affiliation and then getting your radio uh, sent to the netherworld, otherwise known as being inhibited. This is really just a fantastic radio. I think that there are a few things that I would like to improve on. Um, I'd like to change the the size of the text in the top screen. I don't think it needs to be as big as it is. Some people do, that's my preference. I think that the noise canceling is good, but not great on this radio. And that's okay. For what I do, it's not a problem. I think that it does a really good job overall. I think that the audio quality out of this radio is exceptional. I think that this button is hard to press, but if it's an emergency button, you want it to be hard to press. For me, I use it as nuisance delete. That's harder to do. I think that BK really needs to get on the ball with either licensing out this connector and the security within it, or creating alternatives for this. Because the RSM is really big, but it's really good. I would love to have you know, uh, a three-piece covert mic set or just a listen-only piece or something with a Hyros connector or Hirose or however you pronounce that one. I would like to see a Bluetooth headset that allows you to communicate back and forth with the radio with the push to talk on it. I would love to see the opportunity to have a massive noise canceling headset. Let's say you're a dozer operator on a fire line, something like that or in my case, flying powered paragliders. I wanna block out the noise so I can hear what's going on. But those are minor. You know, the fact that I can contact BK and say, hey, uh, if there were an issue, which I haven't had on this radio, I've had on other BK radios, you know, hey, can you repair this for me? Yep, no problem. They got me covered. I like that BK would sell to me, a little guy. I didn't have to convince them that I'm not up to nefarious acts. And, and granted, this was through another vendor. 
one of their sales um, links, a reseller, but they sold to me. I really like that. I like that the controls are big enough, but not too big. I love the display quality. I like the flash screen too, but I'm an American. Some of you aren't here in America and that's okay. I like that I can scan through my zones. I can have listen only zones. I can have uh, non-affiliate scan zones. I like that I can non-affiliate scan and easily switch back and forth between two major systems here in my area. I like that the menu option is so full. I can adjust so many different things through here. And obviously I allow these menus through my radio editing software. But I mean, how simple is that? I like that if I need to buy a feature for this, it can be emailed to me. Let's say I didn't add Bluetooth or didn't buy GPS or something like that. I can email them my code string and they email it back and it's there. Guys, this is just a, a great radio. Is it the best of everything? No, it's not. I kind of like the form factor of some other radios. I kind of have an appeal to others because of the quantity of accessories you can get. But the reality is, this is an exceptional radio. And if I could only own one of all of these, it would absolutely be the BKR 9000. I've got six months with this radio, and that's my opinion. Take it for what it is. If you disagree, leave a comment. Thanks and take care.